Do you remember how crash test dummies were used in commercials to get us to buckle up and cracking an egg and frying it in a pan was supposed to keep kids off of drugs? The Colorado Attorney General's office has a new public service announcement that does not try to be cute to get the message across. It's aimed at gun owners. Here's our Marshall Zellinger. Being a teenager can be hard and emotionally stressful. This is one of two PSAs you'll start seeing on TV and social media Monday. Impulse may lead them down a deadly path. The PSAs on safe storage of guns are from the Colorado Attorney General with the help of local law enforcement. The number one cause of death of our young people, 12, 24 years old, is suicide. And the number one way people die is with a firearm, often procured from a family member or friend when it's not secure. Colorado's Department of Public Health and Environment keeps track of deaths in the state. This graph shows the 15-year increase of suicide by gun for people ages 10 to 24, 91 in 2019. Part of the challenge is a culture challenge. If the culture is one, my firearm is dangerous, if I'm not responsible, someone else may use it in a tragic way. That's a culture shift. Each year, hundreds of firearms are stolen from vehicles in Colorado. The campaign actually started originally in Larimer County at the behest of our DA's office. In Larimer County in 2019, there were 188 guns stolen. Earlier this month, Nine Wants to Know discovered significant increases in gun thefts last year in Aurora and Denver from both homes and vehicles. I personally have a vault that goes into my console, my personal vehicle, that it locks in. There's 20 or $30 solutions uh, to put in that firearm in a case when you're out of the vehicle. Separate from the PSAs, the state legislature will consider a bill creating a crime for not storing your firearm safely. Most gun owners, I'm a gun owner myself, are responsible. Uh, gun owners, right? They store their guns properly. Democratic State Representative Monica Duran said she's even talked with the NRA and Rocky Mountain gun owners to create a gun bill focused on safety. It's really, you know, preventing suicide, saving lives, and really educating the public as to why it's important to store, properly store your gun. The bill, again, separate from that PSA, would also allow a person to be charged with a crime if their gun was not stored properly and a teen could get to it without permission. I asked Sheriff Justin Smith about that since he supports the PSA. He said that the public service announcement is common ground on how to secure firearms without creating new crimes. Kyle. And, and Marshall, for folks not up to date on the composition of the legislature, Democrats control both chambers. Uh, the governor obviously is there to sign legislation. So if if Democrats do want to pass something they're deeming a gun safety bill, in order to defeat it, Republicans would have to find some Democrats willing to, to vote against the party's wishes. And this was brought up last year, so we didn't get a feel. I doubt it would work that way, but yeah, we didn't get a feel for where Democrats might be if they didn't support this. This was one of the final bills before the pandemic took uh, that it got introduced and then quickly killed because they had to, to prioritize the pandemic issues and not this extraneous stuff, which they can now do this year. Yep, yep. Whole last session got scrambled. Marshall Zellinger closing the week with the best specs yet. Thank you, Marshall.